Hello, future millionaire. Today, I would like to make a special video to prepare you for the upcoming hash war in Bitcoin Cash. I'm sure you have heard about this now over the internet, and uh, it's all over the place. And uh, there's a lot of conflicting informations. However, there's really absolutely nothing to be afraid of. What's really happening right now is the miners decide whose note is going to be implemented. The miners make that decision. Now you, the user, now me, the super user, it is the miners who make that decision. Yes, Craig Wright is one of the miners. Yes, Carvenair is one of the miners. But they put the money on the table, they have the right to choose. So does everybody else in this game. This is as democratic as it gets. Whoever has the most hashing power wins this war. Whoever has the deepest pocket to get to decide how Bitcoin Cash going forward. As a user, myself, I can recommend you to do in the following. Withdraw all your money, I mean it, all your money, from every hot wallet. By hot wallet, I mean anything that's connected to the internet. I don't care how it is connected to it. Ideally, disconnect everything you have in Bitcoin Cash holding to so-called paper wallet. Let me introduce you. The simplest version of them all is probably also the most effective one. Don't bother to scan the private key. I didn't put any money on it. So just in case you wonder, uh, I just randomly generate this one for sample purpose. Yep, you got the address. When you log in, you can randomly generate a paper wallet or as many as you want, in fact. And you can choose for yourself if you want to put all your money into one paper wallet or split it up into many, many, many paper wallets. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. And you can encrypt it if you choose so. Most important is do not keep your paper wallet on you or at home. Put it away somewhere safe. For example, my own paper wallet is split up into many pieces and is stored around the world. Since it's a piece of paper, it's very easy to mail to your attorney. And my paper wallet is split it up and is all over the world. So good luck finding them because even I have a hard time tracing them down. Yeah, so only when you have the full key, then you have access to your funding. But of course, your public address is always there for you to put your money in. It just cannot take the money out without a private key. And here I have another solution for you to keep your private key safe when you don't have the luxury of having the access to multiple attorneys around the world. This is the next best option. Here, this is a commercial product. You should be able to find it. Just Google it. You'll be able to find it. This is Australian made. This is really made in Australia. If you buy this product, you are supporting an Australian owned business. All right. This is not my business, by the way. I do know the owner who runs this business. I'm not being paid to plug this because I genuinely believe in this product. It is very useful. I have recommend this to everybody I have come across. And it's a very simple product, but don't let this simplicity deceive you. It's a very effective one. You can write down your key on three cards. Look at that. Three cards. These three cards, if one gets lost or gets stolen, you still have access to all your keys. And whoever steals that one card cannot access all your funding. So as long as you have access to two out of three, your funding is secured. And it comes in three envelopes as well. And you can give this envelope to the people you trust. Just make sure you really trust them, of course. I'm not liable for people who cheat you. So be careful who you give those envelopes to and think carefully. Or alternatively, you can just play hide and seek at your own home, put the passwords on three envelopes, put the three envelopes away at three different locations inside your house. So if someone comes in and wants to steal something, it will take them days until they find those envelopes, right? I mean, how easy is to hide those? And uh, yeah, but still, I would not recommend you to keep anything at home whatsoever. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, keep everything off-site, not even with the bank vault. Banks are not that safe. Uh, yeah, uh, people you trust 
and people you ideally people you trust and people you actually do not know and the people who do not know you. And if you just mail somebody an envelope, telling them I pay you five dollars a month to keep an envelope at in their safe, why wouldn't say yes to that? All right, those are the two solutions I could suggest to you, and keep your money safe. Wait for the battle to finish, and you will see the winner will emerge quicker than you think. Right now, I'm not taking any sides. I'm taking the side of Bitcoin. That is the side I am on. I believe in Bitcoin. I believe in the mission of Bitcoin. I believe in the ultimate success of Bitcoin around the world. I believe Bitcoin will win no matter what. You know, anything can happen, but Bitcoin is the one that's going to win. And you will see. This is the very first real hash war ever happening on Bitcoin network, and this will not be the last. Would not be the last. This sets a great precedence for what's still to come, and I have full confidence in the absolute victory of the real Bitcoin. That's all I can say about it. You should do the same. Believe in Bitcoin, and Bitcoin will come back, make you very very rich. Believe in Bitcoin, and Bitcoin will reward you with the greatest. Financial success of your lifetime. You can absolutely believe me in this one. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the hash war.